The Volumes of Truth. Volume 7. Grace and the Law. February 5, 2008. From the Lord, our God and Savior. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy. For his brothers in Christ, and for all those who have ears to hear. My sons. I have sent Timothy on this wise. He is as one born out of due time. Whom I have called into service by my own voice. For my own purpose. Whereby his faith would come to grow vigorously from the vine. According to that same end. For which I have appointed him, and shall surely be fulfilled. Says the Lord. Therefore listen to him. And help him. Even as he shall also help you. For as he is my husbandman. Set over this present vineyard. So also am I sending him into the vineyard which shall be left unprotected during the storm, to gather in the many grapes which had not yet ripened before the time. For they have become entangled amongst all these briars and thorns. Look how man and the evils of this world have polluted my vineyard. Look how they have built up thick walls with untempered mortar, many high walls ready to topple. Yet they continue to stand, held up by human hands supported from beneath by all these vain and ignorant builders, who were deceived by their forefathers, even Satan. Look how they continue to uphold them, blocking the way before them. For they falsely believe it to be a shelter, built upon a solid foundation. Yet I tell you the truth. It is the makings of their separation from me, a way to hide that which has become unseemly in my sight, an attempt to avoid all accountability, perceiving not that it has become their prison. My sons, listen, and so do. For you are also set over this present vineyard as husbandmen, even as friends of the bridegroom. Go out into the streets therefore, and call the guests to the wedding by all manner of speaking and devices, as many as are willing. Yet Timothy is sent to tear down these walls, built up by men of pride, to break apart all these false foundations, which they have laid in their vanity, all these arrogant teachers, who have forsaken me and my law. For these men, these deceptive builders, seek to tear down my law, even in the name of grace, desecration, blasphemy. For those who preach grace in place of the law, do not know me, neither do I dwell in them. For this is that same wall, which they have built in an attempt to bar the way of those who preach the law, that they might avoid all accountability, and keep their freedom. Freedom to sin by permission in my, name, whereby they have also made me, the author of sin. For they forsake the moral law, of the Father, by permission in my name, profaning my name, having altogether polluted that which I have offered them, having never received of me, nor known me, at all. Thus that which they have built up as a hedge against the law, has become their prison, says the Lord. Never underestimate the schemes of the adversary, my sons. For you are indeed saved by grace, and were condemned because of your transgression under the law. In this you have spoken well, and progress quickly toward perfection. And so I have spoken by my servant Timothy, even in all these letters, that your faith might be brought to its completion. Therefore hear and understand. Salvation can in no wise depart from you, once received. Therefore, seek to please the Father, and, keep the law. For how can one who walks in me by grace, also walk in that which had condemned them? Shall my people reach toward heaven with their hands, while their feet continue to tread the wide path which leads to destruction? And how shall one who loves me, take my hand, and walk beside me, with one foot on the good ground, and the other in the grave? Therefore, knowledge must increase, and sin decrease, to enter the kingdom of heaven. For one who is under grace, bears fruit of the same, and the one who kept the law of the Father, revealed that grace, by works. Beloved sons, I am in the Father, and he is in me, and we are in you. And if I am in you, seek to please the Father in the same way I did. For if you seek to follow me in truth, bearing your cross after me, fearing not its weight, but rather embracing it, you will surely become that example for which you are called. So then, grace is first and everlasting. Then comes works, the first works done in faith, even the first fruits bore in your lives, which is to love the Father, and one another, by keeping the law.
says the Lord.